time y'all i look so cute right now you know i like very good so, like i don't know if you guys could tell or notice or nothing like you know point is i just got a letter got my permit i got my permit yesterday and now it's like so exciting you know <laughs> So happy, it's like say you might catch me on the roads or whatever. But anyway, yesterday I got my permit, so I woke up. So this is gonna be like a little permit story time, brother. Because I didn't film it, I didn't film me getting my permit because I was like so nervous about it, and it was just like nerve wracking, you know. Not really nerve wracking, you know. I was like kind of calm throughout the whole thing, but I didn't film it because I was nervous. I did think I'll think to like film some parts, but then I had like personal information and stuff like that, and just like you know, it's like yeah and plus it was like kind of fast so i just couldn't film so i'm going to do a little story time of me getting my permit so here it is so first things first i woke up at 6 50 in the morning because um my uncle said we had to get there by 8 30. so i went to go get my permit with my uncle and my cousin so the night before i had to like get all my stuff so i was like hey mom i need my social security and my birth certificate and all that and yeah so we're gonna get to that part so I woke up at 6.50 because he said we need to get there by 8.30 in the morning. Um, it was also cold and raining. And then also before we went, I was already sweating. And I hate, I hate, hate that I sweat under my arms. Like when it's cold, I sweat under my arms. Like, and I'm not even nervous or anything. I could just be like chilling and I'd be just sweating profusely under my arms. And I hate that. But um, I thought it was going to be cold outside, so I put on a hoodie and I also put on my another jacket. But I took the other jacket off because I was hot. It was hot, and it wasn't really that cold outside to wear a jacket, like a big jacket. So I took that off, and I was just like sweating under my arms. It was just ridiculous. Um, it wasn't really too hot in the DMV, but it's just, I just hate that I sweat. So, but anyway, so we got there. We didn't really have an appointment. I thought we had an appointment for 8.30, but we didn't. So, we got there. And then when signing papers, you can't really scribble out anything. You can't cross anything out. So, it just, like, you have to sign it in pen as well. So, like, you have to, like, take your time. Make sure you spell everything right. Have everything correctly. Da, 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 da. So, that was nerve-wracking. But I didn't really um, write anything for her. Um, my uncle did. And then we went to go do my six points of identification. And for that part, I was like kind of nervous, really. Um, because for my six points, I forgot what I needed for my six points. But basically for your six points, you just need to prove that you are who you are. So for my six points, I just had my blue card, which is saying that I took the written test and it passed. Um, I had my social security and my birth certificate. And so those were, that's, that's pretty much all I needed for my six points. She also did ask if I had mail to prove like where I live, but I didn't really bring mail, but I was still fine. So there's that. And for my six points, I forgot what I needed for my six points um, because I took driver's ed last year. So that was like a year ago. And I forgot what the manual said, but I know you needed like a school ID, a social security, birth certificate. You could use like mail. It also, I think it also said like a letter from your parents saying that you're allowed to get your permit and whatever and whatnot and things like that. But yeah, so then I had to go to another place and we had to get my, like another place, spot, whatever, office place, whatever, in the DMV. And I had to check, get my eyes checked. So basically I just had to read like one line and like some colors. And the one line that I had to read was like the big letters. It's basically like the eye doctor thing where you put your face in it, your eyes in it, and you just read off the chart. So I had to read like one line of letters. It was all the big letters too, and then some colors. I honestly, for that part, I honestly thought she was gonna have me read more. You know, like read like two lines of letters, like two lines of colors, something like that, I don't know. Or like one line of colors. I mean, I don't know, basically, yeah, just seeing if you could see, okay? Um. So, and then for my permit, I had to take a picture. I hate my picture, it looks so bad. Like I was trying not to smile. But I can't help it because I smile when I'm nervous. So, yeah, but it looks so bad. But luckily it gets to be done when I take my license picture. But my license picture, I know that's probably going to look bad too. So let's just hope I look good that day. Okay. But, yeah, so at least I just need my picture. I, want my, I don't really care too much about my picture. But I want it to look decent, at least. 
And then for my permit, I had to pay $10. So overall, I paid $18 for it. So for my permit itself, I had to pay $10. And then for the little red decals that I had to put on the car, I paid $8 because I got two sets of those. They come in a pack of two, and for one set, it's $4. So I got two of those. For one for my mom's car and one for my dad's car because I didn't know which car I was going to be driving. So basically, I paid $18 overall. And we was in and out. Um, it was like 30 minutes. It took us 30 minutes to be in and out. Um, or whatever but yeah so I was nervous the whole time I wasn't like too too nervous where I was like breathing heavy you know because I get nervous when I breathe heavy heavy but I wasn't like too, too nervous and then um I was actually calm and chill and collected but yeah and then everyone in the DMV honestly seemed like they had an attitude like I don't know I just did not like the vibes in there at all because it's like it was like I don't know it just seemed like some people seem like so strict and then like, some people seem like they had an attitude, even though they didn't really, like, show they had an attitude, but he wasn't really nice about it, you know? So, I don't know. But anyway, that was my experience at the DMV of getting my permit. So, I got my permit. So happy, so excited, you know? And then, next up is my road test, which is a few months down the line. Um, so, let's hope I pass that. Because if not, I would have to do the whole process again. Not the whole process, I don't think. But if I, yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, so that was it. And then afterwards, we went to McDonald's and got a breakfast sandwich because it was early in the morning and a girls had to eat. But yeah, so that was my little permit story. Hope you guys enjoyed.